I know previous ones have had several Metropolis characters like Sp Superman and others, but this theme is Metropolis. Everyone in here relates to Metropolis some way. Even people I have no idea about, like Knockout here. But if she's a Metropolis, she has to fight Metropolis heels, which aren't many besides the Super Family. At least I'm assuming Knockout is from DC. Uh, I know she's from DC. Of course she's from DC. She has a V here for villain. But uh, I'm assuming that she is from Metropolis because she's a Superboy villain. If she's not from Metropolis, well then I messed up and this should be Thorn. Um, Fury, uh, basically, um, Doomsday? Not Doomsday. Darkseid. Uh, Fury's work for Darkseid. So obviously, that's what it means by female Fury. I guess they're leading into the trope that redheads have hot tempers with knockout here. Hence, by they, I mean DC Comics. So, Overpower kinda had to run with that, I guess. I wonder what her civilian identity is. Because that is quite a unique build. Quite not a lot of hiddenness in the costume at all. Hazard, from what I can tell, is a security man who has gone and been put into a robotic body or has a robot or has a power suit or something like that and runs a crime I th he's a crime boss I think could be wrong it makes sense if you can fly you can avoid get having a tree thrown at you Split, eh? Is Split his henchman? Kind of looks like Split's his henchman. No idea who Split is, but looking at this picture, looking at who's credited being in this picture, looking at the name of this card, I don't think Split is his henchman. Yeah, he's a master thief, probably, if he has cutting laser. Because you need lasers. The lasers are typically used in cutting to get into vault and stuff, so he's probably a master thief. So if you need either block the four or take six, that's. that's annoying. Metropolis. Special crime unit. You know, I wonder if DC has a version of Law and Order or NCIS, except for focusing on these guys. Very interesting that they had the front character be a woman, the cat, one of the two visible. Out of the three characters, you have a woman, a black guy, and a white guy. 
And the one in the very front is a woman. Very interesting choice over Val. Very interesting choice. Unlike Gotham, who is who is just the Gotham Police Department, Gotham City Police Department, this is the special crime show. Totally different setup. But due to the amount of criminal, due to the fact that Metropolis has Superman, you have, you know, it makes sense that your special crime unit would have paramilitary training to deal with those type of people. But, you know, those, those are not stun guns. I'm, I'm sure that the Metropolis SCU has stun guns, but what they're depicting in that picture are not stun guns. It makes sense that dealing with people like Hazard and Thorn, who have super strength, not Superman level super strength, but still super strength, that they would want battle suits of their own. Probably funded by Lux Luthor. But yeah, it makes sense that they would have power suits. So, I usually just talk about the characters, but this brings up something interesting. I know when when Marvel when over this brings up something interesting. I know about the Overpower card game that I'm going to talk about for a moment here. When Overpower went to DC, they didn't have as much leniency as they did with Marvel. One of the things that came forward is that Lex had to have eight intelligence. Certain characters had to have certain stats and they had they had to pick who had the eight intelligence. So the only character in the first overpower set with that got eight intelligence when intelligence was introduced in DC is Lex Luthor. Lex Luthor is the smartest man on earth. I all. Of course, Lex just wants more power. Why doesn't... He thinks... Yeah, of course, Lex just wants more power. It makes fucking sense. Yes, it's prime headquarters is in Metropolis. But they have... Let's see. South Korea. Japan. Turkey. Israel. And probably others bases of our uh, headquarters where they sell and deal and do whatever Lex Corp does. Do you know what Lex Corp does? If you know what Lex Corp sells, tell me in the comments because I don't know what Lex Corp sells, but it obviously sells something if Lex is as rich as he is. And Lex takes pride in his physical. He's no slouch when it comes to the physical. Sure, he isn't as good as people who've dedicated their entire life to fighting like Batman. He has a business to run. Of course he's not going to be that good at fighting. But he's no slouch in the fighting department either. He is... As this card says, a skilled martial artist. And that was my DC. 
the a metropolis over power cards. I don't know why I said DC metropolis. Metropolis, of course, is in DC. Where else would metropolis be? Image? That's a laugh. Oh, image over power cards. I don't currently have any. But that's a topic for another day. I hope you enjoyed. See you in the next video.